Hey guys, welcome to the Wyatt Wellness Channel. My name is Ryan and on today's video, I'm gonna be doing what I eat in a day during a carnivore cut. That's right, I am doing one month of strict carnivore and this isn't something that I would do on a regular basis. Uh, but I do have some aggressive weight loss and body fat goals that I'm trying to get to very quickly. Uh, so that's just what I'm gonna be doing in the short term. Long term, I'll go to something much more sustainable, but I did wanna give you a glimpse of how I go about doing this during the day. So the first thing that I do is I wake up and I do my coffee, right? I'll go ahead and make a couple of scoops and then I'll use my French press and then I enjoy that in the morning and I kind of do my little wake up routine. The next thing that I do is then I go to my garage because I have a gym in there and then I'll do a heavy lift session. So that's really nice to get the blood flowing and then that's when I'll start thinking about having my first meal. Okay, I just completed a really strenuous workout. It's a full body, all the big lifts. I do that every single workout, so that way I'm stimulating the, the muscles to keep going, even though I'm still completely fasted. It's coming up on, uh, it's almost one o'clock, and I still haven't eaten anything except for some coffee and some salt, which is what I wanted to show you next. Okay, so when you're doing low carb, like I am, you need to make sure you're getting enough salt. So these are the four salts that I have from Element. They taste amazing. So the one that I'm mixing right now is gonna be the citrus. And I'll mix two of these in 36 ounces of water. And I'll just drink that freely. Super good. It is a little bit on the salty side, but that's the whole point. To break my fast, I really like eggs and I like sausage. I like bacon, you know, kind of the typical things. So I'm not doing any vegetables right now, obviously with carnivore. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I've got my griddle set up right here. I've already got it preheating. And then I've got my bacon. Now, one of the things that I like to do with my bacon is I like to cook it in batches because it makes a big mess. So I'm actually gonna cook this entire thing of bacon and then I'm actually gonna save it for the following days. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Meal number one, we got four eggs, four pieces of bacon. Oh yeah. So I am on dad duty, so I'm just gonna kinda 
wolf this down real fast. No ceremony needed. Mm. No sitting. Just standing and eating. If you're a parent, you can relate. Sometimes you just don't got very much time, so you just like trying to shovel food down while you have that little window of peace. That's what this is right now. Gotta enjoy it. Oh, all right, I feel so much better. Four eggs. I ate like seven pieces of bacon, so I'm pretty full. I wouldn't normally include this in a what I eat in the day video, but I actually need to go get my hair cut midday, so I am gonna include just a little clip of this, so that way you know I did do all this on the exact same day. Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm at the barber shop, as you can see right here. So I am gonna look definitely different for the rest of this video. All right, it's around it's a little after 4.20 in the afternoon, so that means I need to get my smoker started because that takes a while to get going. And then I actually have to smoke what I'm gonna be making for dinner, which is gonna be tri-tip. It takes probably a good hour or so for it to smoke. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it off of the smoker section and then I'm actually gonna crank up the heat and then I'm gonna do a reverse sear so that way I get that nice charred flavor on it. So let's get that grill lit. That's how we begin. Okay, so I, what I did is I pre-marinated the tri-tip. So here's what I marinated it in and here's what it looks like now. All right, so you can see that it's all seasoned. So this was about 48 hours and I used Stubbs liquid smoke as a binder. Plus it gives a really great flavor. And then Pappy's as well, which is just basically a seasoning blend. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a probe in it and then I'm gonna stick it on the smoker. All right, just pulled this off. I did the reverse sear. basically it all right so obviously you want to see me take a bite okay let's do it perfect medium right here yes Ooh. there we go oh my I love the smokiness in it and then the liquid smoke with the mesquite plus the pappy seasoning marinated so good so so good you know when you're on carnivore you kind of lose your appetite right because there's not very much variety in your diet so you don't really look forward to eating as much honestly it's it's kind of boring and we make such amazing food here in this household that it really makes me miss it with carnivore it's also very, it's an elimination diet as well. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've got like this rash on my face that I've been trying to get rid of. And it's like in my eyebrows, it's all around my nose. It's kind of like all around here. I thought that it was originally just dry skin, but you know, no amount of lotion is, is working for it. So I really wanted to try this elimination diet and see if I could clear up my skin issues. Plus uh, I didn't want to lose like, 15 pounds relatively quickly. Other than that, the carnivore diet is is extremely restrictive. It's not something that I would wanna do long-term. I think anybody can do it for 30 days, no problem. The jury's still out on this one. I have still got a little bit over three weeks left of this, so I'll keep you posted. All right, we'll see you on the next one.